Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to start my first picture for the mermaid coloring event we have going on in the Deborah Miller group. Um, we are doing four color alongs, one for each week of the month of May um, with different mermaid books. And the first week starting today through um, Sunday night, um, Monday morning, however you want to do it, is going to be, I'm calling it Members Mermaid Choice. So you can use any mermaid book that Deborah has um, or any of the mermaid pictures we have in the Freebies album, and there are quite a few of them. So I decided to choose the Burlesque Mermaids because I haven't colored in this book yet. So, and it's super cute. I don't know why I haven't colored in it. It's right up my alley. But <laughs> I think it's because I have so many Deborah books, and they're all so fabulous that I just you know, get overwhelmed with my choices and I can't decide where to go. But I really, really like this one. And it's funny because I had gone through it earlier and I flagged two pictures that I was really interested in coloring. And then today when I opened it back up again, I was like, no, I picked a totally different one. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and um, get started. But oh yeah. And really quick, let me tell you guys again, in case you didn't know that when you um, upload a picture from the color alongs into the mermaid uh, color long album that we have in the group, you are getting entered to win a prize at the end of the month um, from the um, Mermaid Coloring Along album. We're going to do a random winner, and that winner is going to receive a signed copy of Mermaid Wonders. And it's open to international members as well. So it's not like the international this time is going to get a PDF. You're going to get an actual physical book signed by Deborah. So I think that's really cool. And I just want to remind everybody about that. So I have my glasses to put on. And I'm going to be using my Bic markers. I have them in just this um, like 99 cent pencil case. <laughs> I just throw them in there. Um, but I'm going to be using those. And um, I'm going to lay down some markers first. And then I'm going to go in with pencil later. And I want to do some paint. I don't know. I just kind of want to really go all out on this one. I haven't... Um, been coloring for a couple of weeks and I'm anxious to get started. So the one I ended up choosing at first, I really liked that one because I really like her hiney. I think it's cute. <laughs> and then uh, let's see, what was the other one I wanted to do? This one I liked, but, <laughs> but, um, I ended up going with, let's see, where'd she go? Where'd she go? This one. I don't know. I like her. She's, she's touching her own mermaid booby, and I kind of like that. <laughs> I think that's so funny. So I'm going to um, pick some markers and get started. Uh, let's see. I think I want, I'll do, what do we want to do first? I'm just going to go ahead and do her skin first, I think, and get that over with. I'm going to, I want it to be kind of a greenish color. I'm at the margarita green. That one's a little bit yellow. I don't want that one. I think I want... Oh, I like this one. The tranquil teal. That makes a really pretty color. So, so yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and get started on this. And as usual, I'll probably like turn the book to where I can reach it better. I know my hand gets in the way, and I apologize for that. But it is what it is. Um, I can zoom in just a little if you, well, maybe I should leave it out. Uh, we'll see. I'll leave it out for now. So I'm just going to go ahead and do her, um, her skin. And I forgot to put it, oh, look, you guys, I was so anxious to get started. I forgot to put a paper underneath. I'm glad I remembered that before I got too far. You know what? As soon as I started coloring, I realized that it felt different to me. And that's why. So I'll be right back. I got to grab what I, um, something to slip in between the, um, pages. I actually always use my Avon invoices. <laughs> what that come with my, um, my order. Like when I place an order for my customers and myself, I get like a, a couple page invoice stapled together. Also found a hair clip on the ground. Had to pick that up. I'm telling you, I'm a mess. Okay, there we go. That's going to be much better. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot to do that. But like I said, I'm glad I caught it before it bled through and ruined 
the page on the other side. So, okay. Back to coloring. I like coloring with these big markers. They're my favorite. I prefer them over Sharpies. They just seem like juicier to me and they don't seem I'm gonna go back over this so maybe it won't add a maybe it won't be a streaky where I picked it up but they just seem to me to be less um streaky than the sharpies do and I don't feel like they bleed out of the lines as much as the sharpies do so Earlier today, I filmed a, um, a video, a short video, uh, for, like, a fashion video. I'm doing a series of, um, all my dresses that I have, hoping to wear them at least once, um, during the warm weather season. So that gives me, uh, anywhere from now through October, pretty much, to wear them. And I had... Well, it's funny because when I was spring cleaning, I um, I had counted that I had 47 dresses in my closet. Now, I actually have more than that because I have some that were up in our attic. And see, these are, this is kind of bleeding over into the little spaces, but I don't care. I'll go back over it with a different, um, when I color in those with a different marker. Uh, okay, so back to the dresses. When I... When I counted the 47 dresses in my closet, I actually have a few more than that because I had some upstairs in the attic where I keep, like, I switch out my closet um, according to the seasons. And so I have um, some more summer clothes upstairs. So, like, I have some strapless uh, ones and, like, shorter ones and stuff like that. So, but I got the idea to start doing a series of videos called 47 Dresses and just show like each uh, dress and when I wear it and you know how I how I wear it and stuff like that so earlier today I filmed one because it actually is really warm today um I think the high was supposed to be 80 and I think some places we topped out at 84 so that's pretty good um and we had to go get some groceries today and uh, that was the only thing we had planned, but I was like, well, you know, just wear it to the grocery store and be fabulous. <laughs> so that's what I did. Yeah, I like that color for her skin. I think it's pretty. Um, so that's what I did, and I wore it, we went to the grocery store, and it was so pretty. It's just been such a long winter. If you live in one of the cold weather states, I know you can, uh, understand, but it just seemed like, we always in March get at least one day where it's 70 degrees and we didn't get that this year and it was just ridiculously cold and it kept snowing and I don't know. So when it finally does get really warm, you just feel so happy and I love winter. I love snow, but I'm ready for it to be over with at the end of February. <laughs> you know, I'm ready for, um, summer to come and it was just really frustrating so I'm glad and it's supposed to be warm again tomorrow also um almost 80 I think again and then Thursday today's Tuesday the first of May uh on when on Thursday it's supposed to be 75 but thunderstorms and Thursday we have to take my mom to the doctor and we'll probably go out to eat with her also um so I don't know if I'll wear a dress that day or not because if it's raining, I don't like to, it just depends. So I've kind of, like I said, bled over into some places. Um, there might be some streaks when it dries, but that's okay because if you watched my um, technique with my markers before, I always go over with pencil and shade and highlight. So you really won't be able to notice that stuff too much. I'm really excited about all the stuff that we have going on in the Deborah Muller group for me. It's just pretty cool. Um, one of the prizes, I know I mentioned in my other video, but if you haven't seen that, that she's going to be doing this um, month is giving away a, a painting. 
and that's a pretty big deal. Uh, one of her original uh, paintings, and that's also open to international members. So, I mean, this month is all about um, celebrating the mermaids that Deborah has created because those are the staple of her brand. <clears throat> that is what she is primarily known for, is her mermaid art. Her website, in case you didn't know, is called Chubby Mermaid or it's either chubbymermaidart.com or the chubbymermaid.com. It's something like that. But she is um, known for, you know, her artwork, her art mermaid artwork and her sea life artwork. And that's what, you know, she got her started, I, I think. And um, she's doing easy um, mermaid uploads every day for you to color. So we should have 30 free mermaid picks by the end of the month, in addition to the ones we already have on there. Um, those will be uploaded every day. I know today she already has one up, so that's really cool. And just, I don't know, she's stubborn is so kind and generous, and I don't, it's just such a really good group. I know that everybody's probably, like, tired of hearing me gush about her, but... I don't know. She's just a really good person and um, a really fun artist. So, yeah. But like I always do, I'll put all the information, how to join our group and uh, where to follow her on Instagram and stuff like that in the description section below. So... Yeah, I like this color for the skin. I like it a lot. All right. Because I thought about painting, even though now that I get into the picture, I'm like realizing that I don't know my painting skills, if I can get in and out of these little spaces. But I was going to paint like dark blue acrylic paint and then bu the bubbles different. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But let's do our belly. Everybody loves mermaids. I don't know if I told you guys this back before. Back when I was like um, doing some color and chats at Christmas time, I think I mentioned I had got my cousin's daughters. She has two daughters. They're um, six and four. Um, one of them, no, six and five. The one just turned five last weekend, actually. Um, and we had a birthday party for her, a family birthday party. But um, I had got them at Christmas time. They really like mermaids. So I got them those, um, like sleeping bags that look like mermaid tails. They're really nice though. I've seen some at like five below, but the ones that I got them were a little bit, uh, higher quality than those ones at five below. These were actually like big puffy quilted sleeping bags and they were pink and then they had like a color, sort of like the screen teal that I'm using, uh, scales like that. And then a deeper pink uh, also in the scales and they were really big. And so when I took them over there at Christmas time, I didn't wrap them. I had put them in like giant gift bags and they had seen like the tips of them sticking out. And so when it was time to open presents, they like grabbed those bags without even being told that those were their gifts. And my cousin, their mother, she said, uh, she goes, how do you even know those are for you? And the oldest one goes, I see scales poking out of that bag. I see scales, you know. So they put the, um, <laughs> they put those on and they flopped around the living room in those like all day long on, at Christmas. It was so cute. I don't know. It was just really, really cute. They were cute. All right. So let's figure out what color, what to do next. Because this is her little outfit, obviously. So her, these are her scales. Mm, I'll do her scales. If I want the water to be blue in the background, I'll do her scales pink and purple. How's that sound? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. So here's the bright pink. Because I love using the bright colors when it comes to uh, these. Let's see. Here's a purple. I'll do this. So this pink is Fandango pink and 
Polynesian purple are the ones I'll do. Oops, do you need that? Alright, so I'll do the purple one first, and I'll just randomly color in some of the scales. Let's see, how do I want the book to be turned? I don't want to make anybody throw up. <laughs> This one, this might end up using three different colors. We'll see. And we'll do this one. do this one even though it's right underneath. It isn't going to matter. If anybody notices that my scales are not um, symmetrical, then they need to spend more time paying attention to their own coloring and less time on mine. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but I am really, really glad that I caught that uh, marker so that it didn't bleed through. Now I'll fill in some pink. So we went, like I said, we went grocery shopping today and... um. I don't know if, like, I know we can't be the only people that are like this, but you get so hungry. Like, I ate before we went, but by the time we came home, I was so hungry. So we had bought, um, a rot we had bought two rotisserie chickens, actually, and we went ahead and we cut up one of those, and then we, um, I had some frozen vegetables. I get those, um... Oh, are they green giant? I don't know. They come in the box or are they bird's eye? I think they're green giant. They come in the box and they, um, they're like small. You get like two servings in a box, but like there's like cauliflower and cheese sauce or, um, you know, just different, different flavors of different things. Um, some of them have a sauce, some of them don't. And I like getting those because I like frozen vegetables better than the, um, canned anyways. Well, I prefer fresh when we can, but frozen vegetables better than canned and so uh we had one we had two boxes that were potato with uh red skin potatoes with um pea pods and um red peppers so we fixed two boxes of those with the rotisserie chicken and then keith had made a pot of pinto beans the other night and uh, we had some cornbread left over so he actually warmed up the cornbread and the or the beans too and we had that for dinner i was starving it's like you're just so hungry i think that's why people go through taco bell on their way home <laughs> from getting groceries you have like a carload full of groceries and then you end up getting you know fast food because you're so stinking hungry by the time you get done this marker is about to die out on me. And I remember I had two pink ones open because uh, I was doing a background and this one wasn't cutting it. So I opened up a new one, but I thought this one might be okay for the smaller spaces, but it's not. So I'm going to actually put it away because it's too not juicy and I got to look for my other one, which is here. So I, I've showed these before, but I purchased these individually on the BIC website, and they're a dollar a piece. Um, and if you get the set of 36 in the store, I think they're around $20, um, like $19 or $18. 
And that's a really nice way to go. But the thing is, is like, if you want one of the colors like this or the teal or something, you don't want to buy a whole set of the 36 just to get those those colors that are the less common ones. So you can go on the big website and you can order them a pe um, individually for a uh, dollar each. And I actually did that at Christmas time. I had um, money that my in-laws gave me and I used some of that to buy myself a huge old stash <laughs> of these markers so that I wouldn't run out of them. Uh, so I have a lot, but I still will be going through them. Um, Uh, you know, pretty quickly because I use them so much. Pretty much the only time I use these is in my Deborah books and, you know, I'm always coloring in my Deborah books. So I'm looking for a third color. I want to put another um, shade in there. And I don't know exactly. I got a pale pink. I could use... Uh, that might work. Or do I want this... Let's do peach. Peach might be good. We'll do peach parfait. I use this one for um, skin tone sometimes when I'm doing, when I'm coloring in her books too. And then I'll use uh, the honey brown for a deeper skin tone. And then, like, because this is kind of orangey, so if I'm coloring Caucasian skin, I'll use pencils in different shades, you know, to alter it. I know I've said this in other... Uh, videos but I always say I'm gonna start out with like a certain color palette and then I never stick to it never I love those coloring challenges where people do like a monochromatic um, picture and I think they look super cool and I would love to do one but I don't think I could because I just have difficulty sticking to a plan I can't handle it Yeah, I like this. It's fun. It's bright. Hmm. And then I'll do this part of our tail too. Um, can you see it? I don't know what I'll do going up in there. I'll probably do something. So my goal is to try to do as many color along videos as I can do this month. Um, I just, I really, really am excited about all the events and I want everybody to get in as much uh, opportunity to win the prizes as they can. So, I think I, I, you know, I want to try to do at least two a week if I can, which is a lot for me, <laughs> but I'm going to try. So we'll see what happens. The, um, the prize of the painting is not, um, with the color alongs. That is a separate contest. So the details of that will be, um, given, you know, at a later time by Tiffany, probably, our, our admin, or Deborah. Um, so just so you know, the this the Color Along giveaway is for the signed copy of Mermaid Wonders, but uh, which is still pretty fantastic. And then, like I said, there's going to be um, random contests, too, of all different, you know, types of stuff. So it's just a really good month to be a member. I've said this in other coloring videos, but my camera automatically shuts off at 32 minutes and it'll pick back up. It's like a safety feature. So 
if you, uh, there'll be like a part two to this, but, um, you might lose like three seconds, you know, I'm not sure what I'll do right up there underneath that fringe yet, so I'll color this one. Uh, right here. I'm gonna throw some pink in there. I've been in a bit of a coloring slump. I haven't colored, I don't think, in about two weeks. I don't know. Well, we started watching, binge watching some shows, and that's, I think, what kind of threw me off of my coloring schedule. We were binge watching Longmire, and we finished that, and then we started Broadchurch, which is so good also. So was Longmire, and Broadchurch is really, really good. Well, we're on season three of Broadchurch, and that's all it has is three seasons. So, uh, but I think we were doing that pretty much, you know, every night watching those shows and that kind of threw me off of coloring, but we'll be done with Broad Church soon. I have to get a drink. <sighs> No, I don't know what color to do her fin over here. Um, I just don't know. Purple, I guess. Maybe with the pe with the peach polka dots. I'm just all about coloring it in, coloring it in. But we don't, now especially that the weather will warm up, um, we won't watch as much TV and stuff. Keith will be doing outside work when he's not working, you know, work working. And then uh, he'll be doing yard work and stuff like that. And then at nighttime, by the time he comes in, we'll be, you know, eating supper and... I don't know, just not as much time on our hands as, as there is, it seems like, in the winter when it's too nasty out. We love being outside at our house. We have a really nice yard. It's really pretty and big, and we have a gorgeous covered patio out back that's huge. Um, we have two patio sets, actually, on it, one with a high table and uh, one with a low table. And But right now, we need to get a new roof put on, the patio so we haven't got the patio furniture uncovered yet um and my swing is still covered up also until we get the new roof put on we figured there's no point because uh you know debris and stuff like that so better to just leave everything covered up but we do have a couple of chairs like uh adirondack chairs that we have out that we can sit on outside if we want to be out there until we get the patio put out, you know. And today, actually, at the store, we bought some... <laughs> I bought some seeds for um, the yellow pear tomatoes. Have you guys... Do you know what those are? Those are, like, my favorite ever. They're yellow and they're small. They're kind of sh the same size as, like, a cherry tomato, but they're yellow and they're shaped like a pear. Those are my absolute favorite tomatoes. I love those so much. I could eat them like candy. They're just so good. So, and they must be popular because the first place we looked at, 
didn't have any seeds of those available. And then when I did find them in another place, they had only two packets left of them. So somebody else besides me must adore those tomatoes. They're so good. They have so much flavor to them. I just, they're really, really yummy. I love summertime because I love vegetables and I love fruit. So good. I love um, the salad with cucumbers and tomatoes and onions in it. You know what I mean? Why you slice it up with vinegar and salt and pepper and a little bit of sugar and some water and you soak your cucumbers and you can put tomatoes in it too but I, I usually just do cucumbers and onions it's so good that's one of my favorite things to have in the summertime also like there's a streak right there but that's okay I think with markers I'm all over the place and I guess you're probably not supposed to be but that's just my <laughs> it's just the way I color because my hand gets tired and sometimes I have to pick it up and rest my wrist So we watched, last night we watched um, Murder on the Orient Express. We had rented that and uh, we both liked it quite a bit. It was pretty